Are you looking for a plant that's most impactful? A reliable perennial in the garden, easy to care for, and doesn't mind the hot summers? For a southern gardener like me, boy do I have a plant just for you. Stick around and let me tell you more about it. Hi guys, Louis here, coming to you straight from the backyard here in Acorn Hill. Today, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful lily that I have called Salmon Star. Uh, or salmon star however we want to say it in any case I wanted to share this with you because it is in high bloom right now um, it's a tall lily it's about 36 inches long um, it thrives really well in full Sun although the bulbs during the time of its growth according to what I read it requires cool um, cool growing habit or a cool growing environment which luckily I did when these were growing back in the spring um, it has tones of yellow pink apricot uh, with, with some orange dots around it uh, I have two groupings of the oriental lily salmon star that I planted and prepared back in the spring what I wanted to show you right now is a grouping of 34 individual bulbs that I planted in a big pot and that big pot I placed under the pergola near the dry garden so I mentioned in the beginning these bulbs do not mind the heat. They actually grow in full sun and will thrive well and give you more flowers if strategically placed in an area with six to eight hours of full sun. Imagine the sight of oriental lilies growing tall, either in clumps or in a big mass, going along in drifts in a landscape or in an open garden. The sight alone, along with the fragrance, can really give an atmosphere to any garden. So, convinced yet? Sounding all too good to be true? Then allow me to organize the different pros of this plant so we can consider this for our summer garden. We'll talk about the plant's characteristics according to color, the bloom, which includes the number of blooms it can produce, the overall size and growth habit of the plant, and the longevity and the ability of the bulb to multiply once it's established in the garden. Now I know I've mentioned and described the color of the salmon star earlier, but it's worth noting that the combination of soft champagne colors of this bloom, where you get tones of pale gold, salmon, and the tiny red flecking, or along with gold, orange, and yellow, really gives this bloom a unique look. The lily, carries huge trumpet-shaped blooms that open in midsummer and make splendid cuts. This is also a huge landing pad for many pollinators in the garden. I usually see a lot of bumblebees, honeybees, and butterflies at any given time during the day. Also, the flowers are quite long-lasting because they, in my experience, have lasted 7 to 10 days per bloom. Every home gardener should expect up to a dozen blooms from a single bulb. In my experience, mine came up to seven per stalk. That's because the buds were big to begin with, but that's still a bargain coming from a single bulb. Generally, oriental lilies keep growing over the years, so they will gradually get taller and more floriferous with every passing summer. The flower size may even increase too. Now toward the end of this video, I have some tips on how to plant, how to care for, and how to ensure that these bulbs will produce the biggest bloom. So stick around for that segment of this video. For the first year or two, expect salmon star to reach 28 to 32 inches high and to spread no more than a foot wide. A good choice for the border, foundation, and other showy sunny spot, this lily needs almost no attention from you beyond well-drained fertile soil and plenty of water. The only minor request that the bulb wants is for them to be planted in a cooler location. Notice that for this grouping, 34 bulbs were planted in a pot. I made sure they were planted about 8 inches deep or added security in keeping them cool. On top of the potting soil, I planted lemon coral sedum. 7 inches across. That's a big showing and a big size for the first year that I planted the salmon star. 
These are now seven days old from the time that it started blooming. Petals are still substantial, fleshy, and heavy, and strongly attached to the stem of the plant even after seven days. The blooms that you're currently seeing is part of the first flush of blooms since the start of this gardening season. If you look closely, this is exciting because above the blooms that I was talking about will be another set of blooms where I will get at least 16 to 20 different individual bulbs coming from the same plant. Many of you know that our garden is fairly young and it hasn't even reached its first year since the renovation. Luckily, since the spring, we were able to grow big tulip bulbs, big hyacinths, big perennials, and big shrubs. So today, I wanted to share with you the secret on how I plant, how I grow, and how I'm able to produce healthy and vigorous blooms from each plant. Uh, my secret to growing uh, bigger bulbs, healthy plants, and even bigger blooms. In front of you right now, I have uh, bone meal. This is the secret ingredient that I use when I plant the bulbs of any kind. Tulips, lilies, hyacinths, um, rhizomes like iris, peonies, uh, anything really that I put in the ground. Uh, bone meal is my secret to getting them to grow well and produce a lot of good blooms. Now for overall health of the plant and for root establishment, this is what I use. I always use Espoma. Uh, there it is. Espoma Organic Biotone Starter Fertilizer. I'll say that real quick three times, but this is magic. And uh, it, does, it does the work really well and gives the roots uh, a firm foundation uh, to grow in, along with the growing medium, uh, the topsoil, the garden soil, the potting soil that I use. So today what I'm going to do is demonstrate to you, I had to uproot I don't have my um, lily stock delivered yet. I did order uh, quite a few for the next growing season, but I dug up uh, a couple of my uh, lily bulbs um, from uh, the garden bed and um, wanted to show you what they look like. Now, hang on, let me put my gloves on. Uh, lilies come uh, from all different sorts. You can get them from Home Depot or Lowe's or your any local garden center and you can definitely order them online where they have more exotic um, stocks for you to choose from but when they come um, of course this was just dug up from the ground what I have here are fresh roots that I've that have grown and come up from the bottom now they look kind of like they I don't know if they really belong in the onion family but they're not like onions in that you have a lot of rings that grow what they have are these little scallops um, fleshy scallops that grow from the bottom and go up and they cover one on top of the other and um, until they form a nice conical firm bulb um, up the top and of course this is this is the stalk that already grew uh, from my planting from last fall um, just take out all the the rootlets that have formed. You plant these six inches down in the ground. Now, for the salmon star, because they require a, a little cooler environment to grow in, I plant them deeper. I plant them about eight inches deep. Um, and let me show you how, because in the bottom of that hole, we'll put in both the biotone starter fertilizer and uh, the bone meal. Well, on my travel, I like this one because it's pointed part in the plane above me but uh, this is pointed and it has uh, pre-measurement uh, right along uh, the shape of uh, the trowel and it's it's nicely shaped it's pointed and the curve of it really is just good for when I dig in it creates that, that nice clean hole let's go at it So I don't know if you can see it clearly, but the hole is right over here. And if you go all the way in, there, 
dig up the hole really nice. What I do is I get a handful of uh, the espoma, dump it in there, and then we go get a good handful. That's how much I put for the bone meal, and you just dump it in there too. But for purposes of what we're doing today, by the way, take note, because of that healthy growing environment that I got these in last fall, above above the actual bulb, bulbets or, or little um, new bulbs will form. They, they normally form right around here and, and multiply uh, from the side and from the bottom, but for some reason, because I planted them really deeply, then you have all these other bulbs um, forming. I, I feel there's one over here, another one over there, and, and three. So for one bulb, with that um, growing amendments that we put in, we get four more bulbs in, in one or two years. So um, it's the gift that keeps on giving is what I call this type of planting. So we're going to go right back in, put the bulb, and just bury that with a lot of soil, making sure you don't have in the air pocket because those air pockets will form a vacuum and that vacuum will heat up and that's what's going to burn your bulb or roots or any kind uh, that you want to stick in the ground this I will plant alongside of it so again a little biotone and a good dump of the bone meal one two three there goes the bulb and put all the soil around it and bury it let me tell you why I'm not cutting these off yet. These were eaten by rabbits and uh, many of you know from my posts on Facebook and on YouTube that we got rabbits in the property, about four of them, but that's okay. But these green leaves and the stalk, they act like uh, solar panels. And what they do is they get the energy from the sun and they transfer that energy, they convert that energy and transfer it into the bulbs. So I'm going to leave these alone for now. And you know, however and whatever type of energy they could still get. Um, by the time they all turn brown, that's when we snip them off um, with a pair of secateurs and remove them. But right now, they could still provide some energy to the bulb. And that's it. That's basically how I, that's my secret. And that's how I do uh, my planting for the Salmon Star. I know it's specific right now. Come um, fall planting, I'll put up another video on how we will... Uh, organize the bulb planting here in Acorn Hill and all of you can learn from it. If you like this video and if you like any content that we put out uh, do click on the subscribe button uh, we'd really appreciate that let's build our community and uh, if you have any questions just put it on the comment section we'll try to answer them or create a video out of what we feel or you feel uh, we should be putting out. Again this is Louie sitting in the evening enjoying my cup of coffee here in the backyard of Acorn Hill. We'll see you back soon. Bye-bye.